good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, good morning, uh, this auditorium. Uh, I'm filling in for Gary Harris. Uh, I'm a student that works for Gary Harris named Ansel Lahabwe. And I would like to pose the question to you, following question to you, is what does it truly mean to have energy for all? You know, energy for all is, is a very, people, is a, a concept that people can be very skeptical or cynical towards, that, that they can be very, you know, dismissive. And that, that even, people even might say that it's politically loaded. But I think the energy for all, we just have a very expansive definition of energy for all. It's not just clean energy, as we say, but it's also changing human behaviors, and it's committing to energy efficiency. So, there we, so Gary Harris and his folks in Virginia, where he's based, uh, had a project to change human behaviors uh, so that we can be, you know, more, so that ordinary Americans can understand what it means to have energy for all, and we would use incentives and rebates to guide Americans' behavior to be more energy, to be more energy efficient, and also for them, and also good for the environment as well. So, so focusing on the Hampton Roads Eco District, which is in Southeast Virginia, uh, we have the education. First, so the first they have the education program, not just for the K-12 system, but also for grown adults. But also we have what's known as a fridge flip that consists of a trial run and a full scale run, where we, where we basically you know, uh, flip their old fridges and for new ones. So they took a survey of three questions of knowledge. So they took, yeah, yeah. So they asked, did you know? So they asked the uh, people in Southeast Virginia, did they know if, if LED bulbs are expensive, but they last longer and consume less energy? Do you have any low consumption appliances? And did you know that some low consumption appliances can reduce the energy consumption up to 25% or 25% or even 45%? And so, we, and so we, we ask them this because not, we believe that knowledge is important for, for ordinary people to, to, to make an ordinary difference. And we also want to underscore the idea that low, that energy efficiency is not only good for the environment, but good for their wallets, so to speak. And so they, we ask them also a rough estimate from their monthly electric bill and a rough estimate from their monthly gas bill we're also asking them a very personal question of how old their fridge is and what year it is. And so the education plan, the education portion of the project was to, was the National Energy Education Development Project uh, brought materials together and the SEEI also brought materials together in classroom activities to create classroom activities. And they used different levels of complexity for, so for instance, in a primary school, uh, they had these 12, 10 to 12, uh, 30 minute sessions with the teacher, and they would guide and have theoretical content worksheets to introduce little kids to energy efficiency. And for adults, they had uh, focus on in the importance and the benefits of energy efficiency for their pockets. And so we had speakers at the Virginia's, at the Portsmouth Library in Virginia, talked about the hybrid modality and presented the, what's known as the fridge flip material. And so, and so yeah, these, this was to, these were trial runs to solicit financing through programs to expand energy education. Uh, and so we learned more what you can save in the home. And yeah, so we, we learned more what you, so seminars and opportunities were to obtain rebates or buying discounts on uh, new fridges and also incentives. And so we also wanted to have knowledge of which were the different uh, programs in Virginia that, that we could, that you know, ordinary Americans could use to create more energy efficient uh, projects. Uh, for instance, the weatherization assistance program of which there is, uh, there is a, a version we have in Georgia. We have income and age qualifying home improvements. And of course, we do have rebates for energy efficient products. Uh, and so, so to, to place a, a flip an old fridge with a new efficient fridge is, is, was, our, was the last part of our program. Uh, we would pay, we had uh, three rules to follow. Uh, pay back organization on monthly basis based on savings. Follow changing energy, 
behavior guidelines and work on an individual level to create savings. And three, we would give them our old fridge. And so our, our so in the trial run, we started with uh, 10 households and, and we were funded by Home Depot. But in our full run, we had 1,000 households from Hampton Roads and it was funded by the Virginia Save Program for $500,000. And so over five years, uh, the savings totaled uh, $641.10 and it projected a five-year return on investment in 32.64%. And so I, my final remarks is that we can bring this model to Georgia uh, from the Hampton Roads Eco District. Uh, we can look at key demographics that are similar to that in Southeast uh, Virginia, and we can expand it to not only just fridges, but also washers, dryers, heating, and coolings, and saving, uh, and, and we can not only just save energy, but also water too. You know, it was one thing Americans love. It's rampant consumerism, and we should just take advantage of that, of course. And so SDGs, uh, uh, relevant sustainable development goals are one, no poverty, four, quality education, seven, affordable clean and energy, 10, reduce inequalities, 11, sustainable cities and communities, and 12, responsible consumption and production. Yeah, so thank you, everyone. Uh, and, you know, remember to stay green. Thank you.